as uh, we're not opening with the stream of my stream sayings. I'm saying, yeah, we're going excellent. Just what you want to see. Okay, um, so Mahjong Soul's down today. So instead of playing Mahjong Soul, we do have to play something else. It's down for maintenance. And I figured. <laughs> It's not a past broadcast though, is it? Because I'm still I'm still going. Okay, for some reason it still shows Mahjong for my channel. This is not Mahjong. This is a different thing. We now have chat. Sorry about all the racket. We're just gonna gonna start Rimworld. I've been considering uh I don't know, Having a an ant colony for the for the club, the Mahjong Club, the secret Mahjong Club that no one can know about. So, the thing I tend to do when I start a room world is you got this start every time. Yeah, obviously, we're Randy Random. Um, so I've had I've got a lot of mods on, and some of them had difficulty settings. Which means I can't really tell. I think this is the middle one. We'll go middle one. Maybe we should go blood and dust. But it's probably going to be tricky as is. Sometimes sometimes I don't last past the, the start on this. And uh, we're going reload anytime mode. I'm always worried it's going to crash or anything. Especially when I'm playing a game with mods. Uh, I won't be loading a save if someone dies or something though. It's fine. It's just for me. It's just so I know that the thing that kills me won't be the... The save file exploding. I'm not going to generate a lot of the world because I hate the world map uh, and will probably never go there. I'll try and avoid it anyway. Uh, we have combat extended on, so I have very strange mods and very limited mods. You have to click random site and then immediately click um, next before you can see what's happened. And then you don't look up when you, your pawn comes up. And you can always be surprised. Let's see how this goes. I normally just play this game. This game and chill out. I was hoping for Mahjong tonight. Gonna be honest. Didn't turn out. <laughs> okay, we are... Durkux. Excellent. Uh, I do have some... <laughs> some games I could play with viewers that I've got ready. Immediately. We pause the game. We check who we are. We are Durkux. Mmm, we're bad. That's good. We like drugs too much, and uh, we don't. We, we annoy people. Well, no. Right now, we don't have to worry about him having a bad bedroom because he is the only colonist. He has zero construction. This is poor. Can we harvest food from the environment here? We can. We have all these berries. Excellent. The first thing we have to do is find a house. We have nothing. We are starting with nothing. But. We have got a slightly chilly uh, forest. Forest is the easiest step. That's always nice. I uh, don't know how this is recorded, by the way. Do feel free to tell me. I think we actually just move in here. We'll have tables. Gotta love tables. Um, and our own coffin to throw ourselves in if, if it all gets a little bit too much. Can we deconstruct the door? I didn't mean deconstruct, I mean meant uninstall. We don't really want to deconstruct it, it takes too long. Especially when you have zero construction. We're going to fail a lot at constructing things. We could actually do with a smaller zone than that to occupy. But um, it is good near the berries. This is good soil over here. We could alternatively run all the way over here for the good soil. Uh, we also have... Mm, it's not what I thought it was. <laughs> Tell me if the music's too loud as well. <laughs> Tell me if my stream's working. Generally. Okay, we're moving in here. It's not worth thinking about it too much. And we are going to need a tree to build wall to stay safe. He is a little bit hungry. Also, does he do everything? He does everything. We'll set manual priorities later. Ah, oh, hang on. We need to draft and undraft. And then he'll set about the work of cutting the trees down. That's excellent. There's a tortoise here. Tortoise is um, more dangerous than they probably should be in RimWorld. 
<laughs> the shells make them uh, uh, hard targets for a man with fists, and they they they've got pointy little pointy little heads. Uh oh, um, hang on, I've got a bot. <laughs> Dang, I'm excited. I saw this boy had appeared. Um, how do I make you go away? Okay, I think I, I think I killed him, but they're still here. Why are you still here? How do I never get this right? I banned you one time. You are banned. I can't work out how to make the the <laughs> help. I'm too stupid. It sucks a lot. Okay. So I, I clicked block. Uh, I mean, I can... It's a robot. That's why I want to report him. It's fine. I guess he lives here now. <laughs> I did block him. Hopefully he can't send any more messages. That's not right, though, is it? Hmm. We're going to waste a lot of time here on this. I can't even fucking see him now, though. He's gone. Whatever. We're just cutting down happy little trees. Excellent. We're gonna need a wall. Uh, we need a wall so he'll build a roof, and once he builds a roof, then he'll accept that he's in a house. This'll be big enough if we, uh... The door will be a problem. Actually, this... We don't need the... We don't need corners. And then we have our own, uh... Table. We have our own... Slab, um, you know, all the essentials. And hopefully we can do it before he gets too hungry. Durkux. He's got a very square head. So you know he's a good boy. And he's level one in construction already, excellent. He's gonna fail half as much. Probably not half as much. Okay, we, we, we got most of the way. We got, we got most of the way there. And we got a little time before. How is his plants? His plants is also bad. Which is bad because if we fail too many times on the berries, we are going to run out of berries. These things happen sometimes when you're streaming. <laughs> it's a crazy world. Sometimes you have to block robots and you can't work out how. And then uh, you pop out the chat and then you unpop out the chat. I still have the... Uh, hang on. I still have hygiene on. So hygiene stops your pawns getting... Uh, Oh, shit. Um, normally it'd help to build this closet to home. But we cannot. We have to build it over here. And then uh, bad men are going to come and kick it over all the time. Not what you want to see. Uh, we can build it around here. And then maybe block it off at some point. And he needs a toilet. Stop sure pawns getting uh, sick as much. But it does mean you have to do some extra... Busy work. Uh, I would really like it if you were not currently cloud watching. Starting with one pawn is kind of a double-edged sword. Uh, on the one hand, if something goes wrong, you pretty much just lose the game immediately. And there's not a lot you can do about it. Okay, I, the, the well's also probably more important, you, you could say. Wait, just cut down another tree. Durkux. I'm disappointed. I'll hold the door up. It also means you, you keep the scope of the work manageable. You're, you're making tiny steps at the start. I tend to start a lot of RimWorld colonies, and then once it gets a bit much, I just stop the RimWorld colony. Again, we, we're really going to need this uh, this well. Durkux. He lost, like, a bunch of wood there the first time he failed that. And Durkux is now hungry, so Durkux will need berries. Such is his way. He can now wash in primitive well. <laughs> He's living the dream. <laughs> and tomorrow... Uh, we will have to... What are we going to say? We'll have to do something else. There's another thing. Uh, yeah, we'll need to plant food for, for the future. The soil's fine. It's not good soil. It's, it's normal soil. But it's not bad soil either. Hang on. I thought I told you to do that and then that. How am I getting this wrong? Okay, do this one and then I'll manually tell you to do the next one. I have no idea why it's not working. 
This is taking too long. And while he's doing that, we will need somewhere for him to hold the stuff. Oh, we don't have a bed. Can he even build a bed? He's not very good. Durkix is not very good. As much as we love Durkix, we do have to accept that there are better pawns out there than Durkix. And he's going to eat some berries, and that's basically fine. I would like him to make a bed at some point, though. He can make it. it it's not a hard thing to do. It's just uh, there's not enough work to think for him to do. Berries are great because you can... Uh... No, thanks. Hold that instead. You can eat them raw and it's fairly safe. If he's not good at cooking, which he's not, he's level zero at cooking, uh, we are going to be forced to deal with the fact that he's probably going to have food poisoning some of the time. Berries are safer than trying to get him to cook meals. Even if we try and get him to cook the berries that he would ordinarily be eating raw, it's more dangerous than just eating raw but Raw berries. This robot wants me to buy followers and views. And I can only see his thing on my phone. <laughs> Cause I got rid of my I got rid of him from my chat and I can't and I, I'm so bad at streaming. <laughs> I used to be, it used to be horrible from a quality standpoint. I think the quality's improved. I can't speak for this one. This could look horrible. I thought he was going to sleep on the floor after the moment after he built his bed. He's not. He's not that dumb. How is Durkux? He's fine. He's a little cold. That's a problem because we don't have electricity. Uh, and we don't have clothes for Durkux. Normally, the way you get around this is you find a steam geyser and you build your house over it. Bear. Watch out for bear. I'm getting... Ah, oh, yeah, this. One of these. If Durkix remains cold all the time, we will have to do something with that. We'll have a little time after he starts getting real cold. Uh, what, what temperatures does Durkix prefer? Two more degrees. That's not going to kill him. It's fine. And he's got a nice big room. And he slept in the cold. How long is he going to sleep? <laughs> Dirk, please. <laughs> what are we going to want to do today? Well, we're going to need to plant some rocks. And I am going to want him to do some construction. Because if I can get him to construction three, I can pretty uh, comfortably survive an early raid. And if I can't get him to construction three, we could have problems if there's an early raid. And there could well be an early raid. Normally there is, but we're on Randy, so Randy anything can happen. So we'll want some rice. I believe rice grows fastest. I have a bunch of nonsense in here as well um, that's added through mods. I don't even know what mods I've got at this point. I have many mods. But as far as I know, rice is still what you want for a thing to happen quickly. I think I might deconstruct all this stuff. It'll keep him busy. Just don't want him... Sound. Who was sound? It wasn't bear. Someone made a noise. Okay. Raccoon. <laughs> It's important when you have nothing. Uh, we need to assign the bill to Butcher Creature. Do forever, that's fine. Uh, anytime you have a Butcher Spot or a Butcher Table, just assign Butcher Creature, do forever. And I would like it if that... Back in the day, you could take the uh, the thing they were eating off, the, the wolf... It was very funny. And this will get us some material. We can maybe start thinking about building Durkix a hat out of. This is a problem. Durkix. Okay. New plan. 
We're not going to hold the door open. Durkix could probably fight a boom rat, but it would blow him up when it died. And we have combat extended on, so being exploded would be a problem for Durkix. So all we can really do is uh, lock the door for now and hope the rat goes away. Which it isn't currently, so we'll need to tell Durkix not to leave the house right now. What else could Durkix do? Do we really need a steel column? Do we need a large, a, a large steel? Get this stuff out of here. You know what to do, Durkix. Um, and we are going to assign Durkix the thing I always forget how to do. We're going to assign him to area one. So he can go to bed, he can eat his food, he can, you know, play with a raccoon. And he can deconstruct these things. And he's just going to wait for this boom rat to calm down. And that's going to be fine. What's he doing right now? Okay, he's uh, thinking really hard about that. That column. Also, that rat is going hog wild out there. Why is Durkix sad? Oh, because he had to poop on the floor. <laughs> William! Hi, William. Thanks for stopping by. I uh, don't know if I missed you or not. <laughs> My Mahjong's down. I can't play it. Not allowed tonight. So I'm doing a bit of RimWorld. Good to see you. This rat is really hooting. <laughs> <laughs> They'll either go away after a while. Is he going to starve? That's fine. If he starves to death, I can make him into a hat. He doesn't seem to be eating while he's uh, busy doing mad rat stuff. I do want him to calm down soon because Durkix has kind of run out of things to do. Just gonna wander around in there for now. I'll try hard. <laughs> we got berries for now. Um, what's this rat doing? Is it eating? Dang! <laughs> I thought I'd out. Hmm. Thought I'd outplayed him, but <laughs> he stopped to eat. <laughs> Is he gonna sleep? <laughs> we could kick him to death while he's asleep. Oh. And now we're fine. He's, he's calmed down. Durkix can return to the outside world. Gotta keep him doing this stuff, because uh, construction's very important. <laughs> I'll try and have a good time. It depends how many rats are getting at me. <laughs> Don't want to get... Bitten to death by squirrels. That'd be that'd be a part time. But who would that happen to? Squirrels are tiny things, harmless. I'm sure. Well, we didn't get the rice farm done. That was Durkux's uh, plan for the day, but plans change. We need a weapon. Durkux is a decent shot. Definitely could. Uh, Make him a bow. Don't know how good he is at crafting. It probably won't be a very good bow. He's not very good at many things. No, he's, he's one passion's in shooting. And since we're playing combat extended, we will need... Uh, I think eating raw meat. Well, it's bad, isn't it? But, you know. Yeah, let's not eat the raw, the raw meat. I've talked myself out of it. <laughs> Don't do it, Durkix. We'll do this later. The need defenses thing has popped up. Reminds me that I need defenses. Why is this not working? Because I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was control. We are going to need... This could... the. Basic bow you can build, the short bow, 
is absolute trash, and we can't even build one. Because he's very bad. We have to remember, we're not good. <laughs> we can make harpoon? Sure. Durkix, go make yourself some harpoons. We're gonna have a blast. That that rat comes back. He's not gonna know I am. But what's what him will be a harpoon. I told you to make ten. Okay, yeah. He's good. He knows. He knows the things. I am worried, because even though he's got a passion in shooting. He still only has five shooting. The the first guy who shows up to kill him could well have more than five shooting. Uh, pick up the rest of the harpoons, my guy. He can't carry many harpoons. It's fine, he has spares. And we do want him to plan. We also want him to deconstruct the stuff and get up to three crafting. Constructing. I just heard... Sad sounds. There is a cougar, a timber wolf, and a bear, all baiting my base, which is, uh... Oh, and, uh, and one of those. One of those. A wag. At least we got stuff. At least we got optimism. <laughs> That's how we'll get through. We have almost three plants skill. Why is he hot and also cold? No, he's just hot now. Oh, it's got hot. <laughs> Whoops. Hot we can deal with because we can make coolers. Um, cold is a bigger problem. We need to do some shenanigans if he starts getting cold. Uh, we, he needs a stool as well because he's going to be upset by having to... Uh, Eat without table so often. And we are going to need more berries if we can find them. We also could really use some heal root. Maybe we could hunt a turtle. I think I may, may need to make him eat the uh, raw meat. Dang. Happens sometimes. Come on, Dirk. Six berries, excellent. Didn't realise I'd get so few. The bear berries are what you want. You get tons. How long have we got left on this meat? Um, think we should make him eat the meat. Although it is, you know, a bad idea. I think his, his uh, meal when he wakes up, I didn't realise that it, it passed. Is going to be the raw meat. It's fine. It's just our raccoon friend. He'd never hers. Don't want him to sleep too long. He's got a lot of work to do. He's got a lot of rice to plant. And he's got a lot of constructing to do. I think the main thing I want him to do now is deconstruct these. Life is just so much easier if you have three construction. And we have one construction. Did he pick up the meat and then did the meat? I'm really dumb is the problem. I understand. It happens. Might do some chess puzzles in a bit. I've been... Uh... <laughs> I was looking at chess websites to... Well, I was... I wasn't gonna... I don't know. I don't know if anyone would want to play with me. Oh! Good job! Do the harpoons go away after you throw them? Most of the time. Uh, do we only have two harpoons left? Look at that. Perfect. We destroyed its lung. We gain through harpoons. I don't approve of this. Although, his accuracy was good. 
And we have uh, some lizard skin. How hot is it? He's a little bit hot for him. If he starts getting heat struck, I think that's the point where we uh, worry. That's when we panic. We'll need a little bit more wood in case he does start getting heat struck. And it's spring, so it will be getting hotter. You gotta think about stuff in RimWorld. You gotta think about, maybe it's time we eat a raw tortoise. And get food poisoning and die immediately. You gotta think about it. We didn't get food poisoning. <laughs> Durkus lives. <laughs> Can we have a less stupid name, Durkus? Jordy Durkux, that's his actual name. Survived the apocalypse to become a corporate drone. Okay, we have marble. What could we make here? Uh, I'm happy for him to have a second room. I think he's going to need a cooler. So we can make this passive cooler. It's pretty good. Um, for that, we are going to need to chop down some trees. And uh, the passive cooler in these mods is different from the default passive cooler. We will need to refuel it with water, but it won't just go away for no reason after a while. You can pray after you're done building. Maybe, maybe he's just really bad at building. Have you ever thought of that? <laughs> maybe he'll never be done building. Oh, well. You can plant some more rice and then go to bed. That's also a good idea. I want to get rid of this wall, just because it's ugly. What's he thinking? He's thinking his environment is unsightly. Uh, he ate a raw turtle. It's summer now, so this was a good idea. He's going to need it. And it's too hot. Generally, a lot of his thoughts are that it's too hot. But... At least he's in a he's got a big bedroom, you know? Could always be worse. And he's he's spending a lot of time praying. I'm not sure if that means he thinks I'm doing a bad job. And he's gonna need more food. Yeah, that barely filled him up. Let's plant the rice and then uh Harpoon this, uh, actually, we did not replenish our harpoons after the first time. Oh, there's loads of berries. We're fine. Excellent. We can just, you know. Uh, that last one's probably a bit too far away for him to haul all the berries at once, actually. They're real funny about that. Oh, transport platform crash. Can we get there in four hours? Yes. Do we have any medical skill? We're not incapable, so we can probably try and save Um, we should haul the berries back while we're on the way. Yeah, he missed them. It's just like that. And the next thing we're going to want to do is not wash with primitive well. Tempted to take his clothes. <laughs> but we're here to build a nice house. We're not here to step on anyone's toes. We should be tending without medicine, but we are doing anyway, because we don't have medicine. I just always forget. It's good practice to tell him to do that right. He's saved, ladies and gentlemen. And you, now we take his... <laughs> Why is he wearing a parka? It's the middle of summer. Okay, you know what? It's fine. 
Having the packer around would annoy me. We do need to move him closer to our house, though. Um, what we really want to do is have him become able to walk. And then we want to delete the bed so he just leaves as fast as possible. And we don't have to feed him. That's the ideal. You can call it cruel, but you know, this is a game of cruel. <laughs> There are way worse things we could have done. <laughs> We're just trying to be nice. Ish. Oh, Durkux is starving. Could build a m marble bed for future um, gentlemen who... Drop from the sky. We got trader, but we're not going to be able to really trade for anything. And I'm fine with him eating some berries. He ate a lot of berries, though. Jeez, Durkux. You, got, you still got all that raw tortoise meat to be going on. Okay, he's going to refuel that on his own. Uh, let's have a look. Although, I really don't think we even can trade anything. He can have the tortoise meat. There we go, we got five pence to spend. He's brought a lot of um, rocket-propelled grenades. Uh, they're a little out of our, our price range. We could buy a bar of chocolate. <laughs> It doesn't have much we want. Tempted to sell the skin, but the skins, but I don't think we. Uh... Hang on, did I buy or sell? No, he's giving me money. Why does he want steel so bad? I mean, we do need steel, but he. He's giving us quite a lot for the steel. And we can find more steel. And then we could use that to buy tomatoes. And then we could not starve immediately. We do need the leather. I hate that the leather comes in all different kinds. And uh, I never get enough of any specific type. We're tomato rich, but um, we're currently uh, leather poor. That's fine. Why would we sell a berry? That's stupid. Don't do that. Sure. We have 99 steel left. And we have 37 tomatoes now. A good trade. For sure. We've prolonged starving like a whole day. Let's go get some more berries. Also, we sold the meat before it rotted. That's always good. And we didn't even have to eat it and uh, get food poisoning. Oh, didn't see that one. Oh, that one. One day Durkix will be good enough at plants that he actually gets berries from the majority of them. Okay, we're not imminently worried about starving to death right now. And do we have construction three? No, not even close. <laughs> Problematic, for sure. <coughs> but one day... We're going to have a second room. What are we put in the second room? Um, is this guy able to walk? He's very hungry. He has one of the disgusting traits. That um, almost never come off. The special cowboy traits. But he's also incapable of shooting. 
So he's got the soul of a cowboy, takes half as long to aim, and is more accurate. Can't hold a gun. What a shame. We don't want this guy to join. It's fine. We, we helped him. No, I... It's fine. We're, we're being nice here. I'm not here to step on anyone's toes. I'm not here to steal anyone's clothes. Um, are we running around insulting all those people? No, it were one of them insulted another one. I saw the, the skull thing come up. That's a long way to walk just to hold the berries, but someone will eat them if I don't. What has happened here? This just happens when you're not looking. Just the world becomes blood. If we were going to get an early raid... At oh, hang on. I've got bloody dev mode on. No, I haven't. Why is it showing me dev mode things? <laughs> I shouldn't... Why are you showing me dev mode things? I might be crazy. Oh, okay, I thought that were dead mod things. Dirk snaps. And meanwhile, Cowboy's wandering in his bedroom and annoy him all night. <laughs> we have a thing. Uh, he wants drugs? He's not got enough drugs! Real up. And he's not got enough rice. It's going to be ages. But he has enough tomatoes. Well, I'm asleep. Because he's going to be hungry when he wakes up. And he'll be less mad about being hungry if he's asleep. Nah, fam, that's fine. Um, this guy's actually okay. Look, he's just leaving. Right now. <laughs> well, I hoped. Um, he'll be fine. Don't do that. Where did dynamite come from? Why is dynamite here? Why do we have dynamite? Who dropped this dynamite? Whose dynamite is this? Okay. Um, probably shouldn't have let him run all the way out there to, to hold that, but I'm okay with it. We have dynamite now. We could drop some harpoons to make room for some dynamite. We'll hold two bundles of dynamite at any given time, and, uh, However many harpoons we can carry. All six. Excellent. This seems like a good load here. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. Those marble blocks are already in the stockpile. So that's not high priority work. Let's uh, cut some more trees. Going for the ones that are at least a little bit grown. Uh, these trees are garbage, actually. These trees... Infant trees. Where did you find those trees? The baby star? These trees. That's what we're looking at. Although he's going to have to go meditate or something in a minute. Rat, leave me alone. Okay. Where did he go? I didn't realise he'd do that. He went to build stuff. It's fine, he still needs three construction. If he gets three construction, we can start making traps. And if we make traps, we're a lot safer. As a general rule. I didn't realise there was all this stuff to get rid of. <laughs> Tempted to hang on to one sarcophagus so we can climb into it when we... Uh... If it all gets too much, but, you know. A little defeatist, maybe. We're going to have a lot of stone. And we like to see that. 
I always end up with um, my house being awful and full of garbage. Uh, if you know how to make your house not awful and full of garbage, do tell. Is there a technique? I don't know. Okay, that's not working. We have a hair! Good news! Um, fine, we have a hair. I don't see the hair doing anything that we're not already able to do. Um, this guy's gonna die. I thought he'd get better, but he's not got better. We could actually rescue him and, like, let him in the house. Ah, oh, it just seems a big hassle, though, doesn't it? As penance for the time we were gonna strip him and leave him to die. I think we should look after this poor boy. It's not his fault he fell out of the sky. And he's having a terrible time. Gonna need more food, though, as a result of this. He's gonna eat food. People eat food. Uh, <laughs> Duck, please. My guy. <laughs> You're killing me here. Got through all those berries already. We need rice imminently. You barely even fed him. He's still very hungry. We did see there were berries over here. There's a lot of berries over here. And apples. We get apples first, and then berries. Two trips. We're a little tired there right now. Legius! <laughs> Bloody Mahjong. It's down for maintenance. I was gonna make a run for- well, I was gonna start making a run for Silver Room, but I'm not allowed. I've been banned by server maintenance. So we're building a nice house and we're being friends to everyone. And we won't be stripping anyone and leaving them to die. We don't want to be caught watching right now. We want to be... Ah, he's going to be really grumpy. What's is that a second website that doesn't have the, the animes and things? <laughs> Just won't be the same. <laughs> Cut. I think we own this rabbit. I don't know what we're doing with this hair, but... There's not really anything worth doing with it right now. They eat grass, so I'm not bothered about, like... Turning into a hat or food in, in imminent. We could play Mahjong on a different side. I'm not. <laughs> now I've got some chesses up in the background in case I feel like chess. And I've got um, Shogi up in the background if you feel like Shogi. <laughs> I opened all the websites before I started today. How many apples? You just ate 18 apples in one sitting. We started as a random colonist, so we're this uh, fine gentleman. Um, he's very bad. He's one of the worst colonists I've seen who's not actually incapable of anything important. I mean, he has both his legs. That's always good. And he doesn't have any scars that are bothering him all day. He doesn't have cataracts. He doesn't have asthma. Don't know what I'm complaining about. Okay, this guy is just, he's a, he's, we're getting through apples now, I'm worried. Why are you eating the tomatoes? <laughs> we worked hard for those tomatoes, Durkix. We can build more stuff down here, I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with this area. What do I need to do now? Are we at three construction yet? Not quite. 
could do with probably just deconstruction this. We have many berries uh, to get. We have a little bit of dynamite. It's going up. Okay. Never know when you're going to need just a tiny bit of dynamite. I think we got three sticks and we're holding two of them. In case a rat goes mad or something. Oh, this guy's eating too many apples. Can he walk now? If he can walk, I feel like he should probably walk. Goodbye, man with a stupid name. You'll not be missed. That guy had like a legendary gunslinger tra trait from some, some weird mod I've got. And was incapable of shooting. What's the point of that man? Terrible. Excellent. Um, we're going to need stuff. I don't really want to build a trap out of steel. We're on uh, combat extended, so... Wood tends to do it. Unless they come with a shield, then we're, then we're going to have problems. Then we'll need a few. But still, literally grows on trees. We'll build the wall out of steel. Yeah, we build two, then we can access both of them. Um... <laughs> Make sure all the dolls are held open. Get rid of the tiny tree inside our house. Eat, yet, yeah, yeah, more apples. It's driving me crazy, Legius. You want to stop eating apples? Every five minutes. No, buddy. It's fine. Leave, leave that for now. If that were a thing we wanted to do earlier. It's too late now. No. Gonna have to manually tell him. Please cut the trees so you can build the traps. <laughs> Probably. And then he crash landed on this planet and Durkix was kind of rude to him and then just deleted his bed. But he did look after- he didn't let him die. We got a reputation boost with whatever faction you were with. No, Durkix, please. He's too, he's too dumb to make a bow. You, you need crafting too to make a bow. <laughs> we have harpoons and dynamite. That's what, we're, that's what we're working with. We could probably hunt something with the dynamite. And he's better at shooting than he is at the other things. And we do have a, a tame rabbit. What are we hunt? Impala. Didn't see it. I've seen a mega sloth. <laughs> Can you dynamite a mega sloth? Problem is he's very bad at cooking as well, so like He's I think he's zero cooking? He's zero cooking. So if he tries to cook any meat he gets from an animal, he's probably gonna die of uh getting food poisoning and then getting raided by a man with a shotgun. There's like a really crappy shotgun that can show up with a uh, very early game with the nonsense mods I've got. And it's problematic. Well, I wasn't looking. I was moving rocks and, and paying attention to how many tomatoes Durkix was eating. <laughs> There's a lot to look at. I don't see this berry bush. We're going to go get some berries before we go to bed. I 
I'm not made of ice, Legius. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, yeah, hold on back first. If, if you want to hop in chat sometime, in, in Discord or something, you said you, your microphone sounds like a World War II radio, but lucky, no shade. I have heard what P2's microphone sounds like when it's not being uh, made more pleasant by Discord. And there's a little bit of, little bit of World War II radio there. I can see where we might be misinterpreting uh, statements about a Mahjong game as a call to fall back behind the Brisbane line. What do you think is hiding in this room? <laughs> do you think there's an ancient danger squeezed into this room? We gotta know. It's fine. It's just nothing. What can we build? We want to build a shop bow. Shop bow is garbage. It's like actual trash. Do we have any? Oh, I sold all the leather. I mean, I could make more harpoons. I could make throwing rocks. <laughs> Not sure how how good uh, throwing rocks would be. We could build like a knife or something out of steel. How much is for a hatchet? Never mind. Can't can't be making hatchets. Is there like a? We could do a knife. And if we make a knife, we'll probably have enough to build a bow afterwards. I ain't built any joy sauce. <sighs> we ain't got any wood either. Ah, uh, there's a little bit out there. No, there's only eight. We'll build a steel horseshoe spin. I can't be bothered. We'll build it inside. We still haven't figured out what to do with this room, so now it's a horseshoe's room. Perfect. Okay, never mind. It's it's cool. <laughs> you don't have to come in if you don't want, or if you think your microphone's too bad. But the Discord filler thingy does a lot. It's, it's good. Did he actually not level up, even though he was like, he barely got any XP? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong stat. No, he barely got any XP! It's, it's just as bad as I thought. You need to be able to build stuff to be able to get experience from building stuff. <laughs> uh, he has a minor passion in shooting. He's not the best colonist I've ever had. He he's not the best. <laughs> He's actually got no skills over five except shooting, which is five. <laughs> I picked randomly. I didn't even look. I like to be surprised by my colonist. It's normally, I don't know. They've normally got at least one thing going for them. This guy's He's not incapable of anything important, but if this is about as bad as a colonist can be with no incapabilities. We're gonna get rice. We could build... We got components right here. Why are we building a wind turbine? We're on Randy as well. Um... So anything could happen, but he does seem to be not kicking my house down just yet. 
Why am I looking at every single thing? It is in power. Oh, construction fall. That's that's why. That that's why we're not doing it. Dirkix can't do anything. That's the problem. We can't remember that. That's probably the issue. Well, we need a butcher table so he can do that. We can build him a nice marble bed. That's better than his awful wooden bed. And then, that cat go there. I mean, I could build a stove, but I'm very scared of having him cook anything ever, because he's, uh... He's not the best pawn I've ever had. I mean, I could build a research bench, but he's not going to be researching for a while. I can't build it out of steel. And we are going to need more steel also. Should have to get from all the way over here. <laughs> Randy, Randy just does whatever Randy feels like. Can we build a wood? Yeah, why am I trying to build it out of steel? It's fine. It literally grows on trees. If someone does show up, though, I am going to dynamite them. If we do get an early raid. We got two sticks of dynamite and five, six harpoons. And we're ready. That guy couldn't do it. He couldn't, he couldn't shoot. And he annoyed me because he had the one trait that many were really good at shooting, which he couldn't do. Hmm. You, you're right. I should probably cut some medicine, especially since it's combat extended. I mean, if he gets hurt, he's just gonna die. So it's not that big a problem, to be honest. We'll do, we'll get that later. We'll get there next time someone uh, drops from the sky. Anyway, we're very busy playing horseshoes. This is gonna take him four hundred years, and then he's gonna break it, and he's gonna waste all the slate blocks. But, he's going to get some experience from it. Look at him go! <laughs> and then he's going to be good enough to build a wind turbine. And I'm going to be able to build all kinds of stuff. I'm going to build him a nice bathroom. And uh, he's going to be able to cook stuff at an electric stove. And get food poisoning that way. Without having to cut down a million trees. The fueled stove just... I just can't be asked. You have to cut down trees so often to make it <laughs> You put 50 wood in it and it cooks like five meals. Terrible. Rabbit! Get outside. <laughs> that rabbit just ate three apples. Uh, we need another area. That's not what we want to do. I can't believe this. There we go. I don't even know why I'm having the, the rabbit around, but it can stay outside. I mean, it's a good way to keep... Uh, Food fresh is to not kill it yet. As long as he's not eating apples three at a time. Those are not even apples. Those are my tomatoes. Oh. Okay. So, either... I mean, the hare's dead. We're too far away. While the wolf is eating the hare, we can throw dynamite at it. That is allowed. Ah, no, he does have a range weapon. Didn't last very long. That's fine. He's going to have to stop to eat him. That's why well, he stopped. <laughs> oh, that's... We're getting a little bit close. Uh, 
And then we use the harpoons. We gotta test the dynamite and see if it's good. Should probably realize that the dynamite would explode. <laughs> the rabbit did not survive. You do hurt to see it. We got a little scratched from, you know, enthusiastic dynamite use. I mean, we'd be able to butcher and bear if we had the uh, butcher table. We are going to have to cook this. He's a, it's a little scratch. It's a tiny little little scratch. He's fine. He gets 38 out of 40 leg health. Mm. I don't like his plan to immediately go to bed. Um, is this because I've got bed rest turned on? Because I don't think he... I don't think we have uh, the luxury of be being able to have bed rest right now. Yeah, I don't know how much stuff we're going to get, but since Durkax is uh, currently naked, if we get enough to actually make anything, it's going to get us crafting XP, and uh, he's not going to be as sad anymore. We got... Has he not put it down? Am I blind? Dirkux. Why did you put the fur? <laughs> oh, it's on the... We only got 14. We got nothing. And of course the rabbit fur and the wolf fur is different. We can't combine the two. That'd be impossible. We blew up the well. What else could we blow up? Uh, we only have two more sticks of dynamite. As much fun as we've had with dynamite. Salt? What would salt do for us? Can we make, like, salted meat? We'd probably need... I don't know if any of the mods I've got on enable that as a, as a thing. We need a campfire to cook anything. Probably. We could, we could do a stone campfire. But what about a large campfire? Why are there four different types of campfire? Three different types. That could be what we do in this room. We are going to have to cook. He is going to get food poisoning from cooking. This is just the way of things. He's starving now. He's going to wait up, eat all seven tomatoes at once. Um, pick up some dynamite for the day. And then we're going to have to cut some trees down. Oh, maybe he's just going to not eat the food that won't give him food poisoning. His choice. That popped up immediately as he finished eating. Okay, we don't need the research bench right now. We need trees. Oh, Legius. Um, have you played Cataclysm? You saying you were play you you played uh, roguelikes? Because I have had that for a while, and I was trying to work out how to do anything in it. <laughs> the main thing I need is uh, I don't know the the tile set people use that doesn't look like ass. I don't know if you've seen the tile set people use that doesn't look like ass, but if you know what that one's called, that'd be cool. But also, I don't know how to do anything other than be eaten by zombies immediately. And sometimes killed by wasps. Uh, ants? I've been killed by ants as well. 
I think that's about all I've done in Cataclysm. <laughs> I don't really want to give him a research topic now because he might actually try and do research, which is not what I'm aiming for. Could learn how to build drugs. That that'd keep him happy. He does love drugs. <laughs> and like solar panels is fine. Solar panels is important. If I put solar panels on it probably will get done for a while. Don't know why we zoomed out that far. And he's just gonna go hang out. Could do with a second colonist. Uh, also could do with picking up the dynamite. Yeah, he's gonna need to cook the food. It doesn't seem like there's an option for like salted meat or anything. So he's just gonna have to cook all the meat into meals. I've heard of that, but I've never lived long enough. Did he really eat all the meat? And then the next thing he did was start cooking the meat. He has his own way. <laughs> no one can tell Dirkix what to do. Is he nearly at four construction? He's at four construction. Okay, we do need steel. But once we get steel, we can get power. Now, the, the strat for power, as far as I'm aware, you build it like this. It looks like if you built it here, they'd be able to walk around it, but they can't for some reason. So you got to build it one tile away. Um, and you want to build two going across like that. And then wall them in. Ideally. I think we will have to start with one, because we won't be able to build a big enough wall to go around it. And if we don't build a wall around it, someone will come in and kick it over. But once we got a wind turbine, we'll be able to do so. One wind turbine might not do it. Windmill's the same. It just takes different stuff. Looking at it like that, it does stick out away. Let me go into planning and try and work out how far this is gonna. It goes right up to that tree, I think. Yeah. So it's going to be like... We don't need him to be able to get past on both sides. I think Cataclysm's the only game I've got on my computer that might qualify as a... as a roguelike. <laughs> and not a roguelite. Casual game. For babies. If I build a marble door, it'll take actually forever. Also, it's kind of a waste of marble. But I can never tell what type exactly of uh, stone I'm looking at. People who know what type of stone is best to make walls out of and stuff in this game. I mean, that's just too much. We could build his nice bed. Also, we could go get berries now. We've uh, helpfully destroyed all the other food. Both of these things are more important than building the bed when we already have the bed. Hair one has been bitten to death. This happened a while ago. Never remember to turn off the the uh, messages. Oh, Dirkix is sad. Oh, I can't get drugs. <laughs> he really wants his drugs. <laughs> I forgot to get sadder and sadder as a result of not having drugs. 
We need to find drugs. Uh, can he even grow a smark leaf? It's just going to whine and also be bad at everything. What's your plan skill? We're at three. If we plant a few more or cut down a couple of trees. We're going to pick the rice soon and then plant more rice. Yeah, maybe we'll get there. Maybe. Cataclysm is like crazy and it does... <laughs> I do want to one day learn to play Cataclysm. I just don't think I have enough degrees to understand. I tried Dwarf Fortress once as well. That didn't go well. <laughs> I think there were elephants, but I'm not sure. I was very confused. Um, what is it we wanted him to do? Okay, um, gonna need to give him manual priorities, I think. We want him to deal with growing before he does constructing. I'm not gonna do all his priorities yet, there's no point. We, we need him to do everything, we just need to ideally do everything in a more sensible order. Is this stream looking alright, by the way? I want share in. Uh, I have tested to see if this records at all, but I am now. Uh... Do you have to cook rice? Is it like... How dangerous is rice? 2%? That's less than a meal cooked by this awful boy, I'm sure. Same as tomatoes. I think maybe we just leave the rice raw. It does mean it's less food, but it doesn't... It's... If Durkix gets poisoned, and immediately afterwards there's a raid, that's, that, that is death. And since he has one cooking skill, that's very likely to happen. One of the main things I've had trouble with uh, trying to make colonies with one awful pawn work is that they're always food poisoned. <laughs> Especially if you're not in a, you know, a really nice biome where you don't have to worry about stuff too much. Wish he'd have hold back some rice when he went to meditate there. It'll be fine. could cook it to train him, but like... Ah, oh, I forgot to build guest beds. Um, yeah, we can't, can't look after visitors without guest beds. Oh dear. <laughs> hmm. Do you think that fire's gonna go out on its own? It is raining. It's fine. I'm just gonna turn the camera so we can't see it. See? Everything's fine now. <laughs> he has one cooking. He's gonna give himself food poisoning from cooking rice. He, he could... It could actually happen. <laughs> He's getting better. He's got far construction now, he can make a wind turbine if we get him enough gobbins. Can he almost... He's not actually got that close to being able to plant his drugs. So he's gonna keep whining at me about not, not having enough drugs. I think he doesn't like eating raw rice, I think he'll uh, have something to say about it, but... Hopefully he won't die. Uh, what? There's a bunch of drunk muffalo. This is obviously from a mod. <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
Never heard that before. So we need to mine some steel, because we need uh, wind turbine. The worst is when they have a bad back, because then if they get food poisoning, they'll collapse. And they won't be able to go up for like two days. So you have two days of just watching the pawn writhe on the ground. And they'll survive, but as soon as they get up, they'll be really hungry and they'll need to eat again. And they'll also have all the malnourished debuffs, so the chance of them getting food poisoning as soon as they wake up from food poisoning <laughs> is much higher. Hmm. That's not a good one. It's not a great way to lose a colony. I'm thinking to put more rice down just so he's... Just just so he can grow his drugs. Because he's, he's really sad. He's interested in drugs. He really wants to consume drugs. I don't know what you do if your colonist has asthma and uh, if, you, if you've only got one either. It, it just, it seems like you're on a timer until you die. Well, that's going to be a problem. Durkix has been made sad by psychic robots. Not sure I can do anything to keep him out of... Uh... Hang on. Yes, I can. He's not refilled the cooler in the entire game. So it stopped producing cold. There we go. It should stop being as hot. This is a problem, though. Even when I can plant the smoke leaf, he's still not going to be able to smoke the smoke leaf <laughs> until it grows all the way. I've got to hope someone drops out of the sky with, like, a pocket full of drugs for me. Or, um... And I still haven't got crafting, too. Because I've completely forgot about that. What can we make stuff out of? We need to dynamite some more animals. There's just no two ways about it. Could build more harpoons and see if that gets us anywhere. I don't need to close both. The killer's in this room. I mean, this room's not going to be cool, but it's fine. When he when he goes to bed, he'll stop being too hot, and he'll calm down a bit. And then as soon as he wakes up, he'll walk outside and be like, "It's raining. This is terrible." This better not be awful. It's only Paul. Excellent. Uh, we'll keep the old one, but we're gonna set this one as. Uh... Durkix's bed. I feel like I'm not prioritising things well enough. Where are those drunk muffalo? A muffalo! How well do you think these, these animals respond to dynamite? In the interest of science. I'm worried that they're not bunched up enough. Let's eat before we go out, because he's going to be grumpy. Go eat six tomatoes. Um, yeah, it's sad that you get raw food. Worst case scenario is he throws a one stick of dynamite. Then gets real grumpy. And goes on a sad wander or something. That, that would be sub-ideal. And then we run away. What? How are they this strong? It's fine, we got more dynamite. This is the last dynamite. Ah, uh, that were a miss. 
One of them is fine. I don't think that one will die. I think it'll heal enough though. What? That were terrible dynamite. Oh, that went again. Okay. Now it's probably going to die. I just don't want all the other ones to get mad, so I don't want to hate it more than I have to. That, that's probably fine. I'll keep an eye on it. Um, Let's pick up the Apu. <laughs> Actually, we'll leave that one for now. That is genuinely asking for trouble. The Hapoon did more than the, the Dynamite. We barely even scratched its liver with the dynamite. I'm sure he's doing extremely valuable work while waiting for this uh, muffler to fall over. There we go. <laughs> he's building a sandstone door. He's really sad. He's just not having a good time. Why did the... Why did the muffalo explode? Oh no. Ah, uh, he's gonna have to tend to himself. I hope this body doesn't burn up. Now he's sad. Now he's been on fire. <laughs> we know that when Drunk Muffler shows up, it also means, uh... The... Explosive. Yeah, I never got enough stuff to do that. I do want to hold the dead Muffler, and then I think we're going to try and build the... Butchering spot really quick. He has 5% mood. Yeah, this is a problem. He's in intense pain from being on fire. We'll try and keep his recreation up. Um, he doesn't like this bedroom as much as he liked his old one. If he's asleep, he won't go crazy. Oh, he sleeps in this room now. I do have to keep the door open if I want him to be anything like happy. I want it here, though. It's fine. <laughs> he just got a little singed. It's only serious pain now. How long? We have two days before that goes off. We do need to... He's real sad. I'm kind of feel like I should just let him sleep. Never mind. He's He wants to cut some trees. His mood's going up. Is it 13%? I'm still getting uh, trees experience. Plants experience. The psychic drone ended. It's not even a problem. <laughs> this is the one that would just find. I hate that one. You're running on fire a little bit. And this should give us enough to build anything. That's why I wanted the butcher table up. I, I wanted enough to do a thing. Wool from that. I think that's 60 though. Yeah, we can make like a shirt maybe? Oh. Hang on. I'll find one. We can make a tribal poncho. That sounds beautiful. And we 
I'm gonna quickly adjust the beds. You want him to prioritize working on the, the ghost bed rather than uninstalling the old one, or I'll just uninstall it, move it to the stockpile, and then that's the end of it. Yeah, extremely low expectations just means uh, the house I've built. Oh, did that guy pass out? <gasps> what happened to him? It won the dynamite. You were fine after the. Oh, did he walk in at my traps? Did I have two traps set up? There's blood here. That must have been it. What? No. <laughs> oh, and I should have been. Mm. That's a problem. We're not going to be able to do anything with all the meat, but we'll be able to cook a bunch of meals. In fact, don't worry about that. <laughs> we'll do that later. I forgot to cook the food. And now we just want him to cook simple meals. He can build his poncho afterwards. This is the second time he's done this to me. We'll just do that until we run out of meat, I guess. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. I guess instead of that, we're doing this. He'll have catharsis after this. He'll be fine. Sad Wanda's not as bad as it used to be. Unless you're being raided or something. Uh, extremely low expectations is just uh, the the place you built hasn't accrued a certain amount of wealth yet and the game hasn't been running that long. You do always get extremely low expectations to start with. Uh, there's an Ambrosia sprout somewhere. Wait, is Ambrosia drugs? That might be important. I think it's drugs, but I can't remember. We'll have to remember where that is. It's quite close to home. <laughs> and he's going to need to wash once he calms down. Which would be a cool thing to happen right now. Is he... Oh, he's not. He's, he's, he's recovered from his burns. What's IRL is? I wasn't paying attention to what I was saying again. I do that. How good are we at mining? Very bad. Excellent. <laughs> Why did I even ask? <laughs> oh, berries. We need those. Wait, no, we don't need those right now. We're practicing cooking. Well, we were. Then, you know. Should probably just work on butchering this muffler and then sitting around and watching all the meat go bad. He's been sad for a while now. He's just kind of checked out. <laughs> if only he could get drugs. Okay. Yeah. I think it's drugs in this. It's from a mod, so I don't know. Dukux does love drugs. All the meat's gonna rot Dukux. <laughs> as, as long as Dukux is happy. They'll look after himself a little better than they used to in, the, in a sad wander. They used to just kind of wander out into the middle of nowhere, take off all the clothes, and then starve to death. 
I'll sometimes freeze to death or uh, die of heat stroke, depending on where you are. Uh, we could try and cook as much as possible. He's going to be pretty happy for a while. But he does also need sleep. But he's fine. He's dead loads of sleep. And we're up to 1.14 cooking now. <laughs> Once they get to like 5 cooking, you're probably not going to get food poisoning from telling them to cook. He's got a way to go. We're going to need more berries. I guess I'm more concerned about the... Uh, the wool. Because this is taking forever. Yeah, well, let's not worry about that anymore. I like, he could get up to two reasonably, but that's still well within the... Probably don't want to eat any of the food they're cooking. Um, zone. Can we make a hat? Make a hood. I guess we make a hood. He's gonna be happier when he has clothes. He's not just out here, a naked madman throwing dynamite at local wildlife. Wow. Oh, I'm out of dynamite, never mind. Some dudes just showed up and just dropped three dynamite at the edge of the map as they were walking off. I don't even know why. I don't know what could have caused that. They weren't like hurt or anything. They were fine. Durkix has gotten food poisoning. It's, you know, I mean, someone... <laughs> Maybe we could have seen it coming. It's going to be really bad for a few days. Like actual trash. He's just going to not be able to do anything. And if someone comes up to kill me, I'm going to have to rely on one spike trap to save me. So. Could probably do with chopping down a tree. Incredibly slowly. And trying to build a second uh, spike trap incredibly slowly. At least he's in stable health. Except for whole body food poisoning major. At least he's got extremely low expectations. <laughs> um, that's not enough. We need to cut down another tree. He actually has a chemical need bar just for being a... What is it? can't remember his thing. Chemical interest. What is this? I've never seen this before. I didn't know that I did this. <laughs> That's crazy. Ah, oh, it takes him so long to eat when they've got food poisoning. And they keep doing that. And when they do that, it resets how much they've eaten. And they need to start their entire meal again. <laughs> they just take it all back out. Um, There's only 12 work left on the poncho. And he should be getting a bit better now. Maybe? We'll let him sleep. He's gonna be crap. He's just gonna keep doing this. Terrible habit. We still need... Like a means of fighting off attackers. That would be helpful. We were gonna... Remember when we were gonna build... Uh, wind turbines? Remember that time in the past? Ooh, we could sell some of the meat. We gotta wake up before it quickly we talk to him before it rots. Walk this way. Nah, they don't want meat. 
Well, that's unfortunate. We could have bought... Some kind of gun. With no ammo. With some ammo? No, they've got the wrong ammo for all the guns. This happens. <laughs> could have bought a Colt revolving rifle. We added a lot of cowboy guns. We wanted more cowboy things in the game. I think Durkix has recovered. Um, I mean, he's still eating the... Uh, the bad meals. Did he just come out? Pull a single grain of rice out of the ground. And then immediately go to bed. That's fine. Eclipse. It does nothing because we haven't had a chance to build anything and we haven't had a chance to research anything. It's just going to be dark for a while, so he's going to be sad when he goes outside. But he's already sad all the time. I feel horrible for Durkix. He is having an awful time. He was not ready for this. He has no skills. He has no passions. <laughs> he doesn't want to be here. I'm not sure if it's a mod that lets you build over walls. I think it's part of the main game now. I used to have to get a mod that let you build on top build on top of walls. There are ages you can build on top of walls. Let's just hold that door open. We could even think about re uh where did the wolf come from? Hang on, <laughs> they were going too fast. It's fine, the the wolf's a path. It's, it's if the wolf is uh, wild, you don't want it walking around inside your house. Because sometimes they decide uh, they want your colonists for dinner. We recovered, we repaired the dynamite damage. We did all, the, all those, all those days ago. We were first experimenting. Did you actually not wear the poncho that you just made? Durkux makes decisions. I don't want him to force wear it because then he'll never take it off. So I want him to, on his own initiative, wear clothes. <laughs> Come on, Durkux. You can do it. Okay, he's got his poncho on. Does that make him stop being sad? No, he's still naked. <laughs> Unfortunate. I don't know how to make trousers. I think I need to research it. Unless you can make a tailoring bench straight away. I can never remember if you need to research it. You can make a tailoring bench straight away. We should probably have done that a while ago. Oh, he's making it! He's making his bow! We're moving up in the world. We own a bow and arrow. I'm not sure if bow and arrow is better than harpoons, but we can definitely carry a lot more ammo for it, and we can definitely practice with it. It's a lot better for hunting if it's not better for anything else. And we have enough harpoons for now. Just got to two crafting. And we got rice. We're doing okay. We just kind of need a second colonist. Also, it's going to get cold. And we're not prepared for that. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> I didn't realize it was summer. Oh, jeez. It's not summer anymore. What can we do? Um, we kind of used up all the muffler. We can just keep the fire going, I guess. We'll shut all the doors. Keep the fire going. Um, now you see, Luciferium is drugs. However... <laughs> We don't want Durkix to be around that type of drugs. We were aiming for Smokeleaf. Um, we don't want the hell drug that kills you if you stop taking it. 
that that would that's not really something we even want to be in the same map as Durkux. Like, we'd have to burn that if someone came in and dropped it. Because one of the mood things that'll happen with uh, people with chemical interest is they'll just start eating every drugs they can find. Even the ones that you've specifically forbid them from taking. <gasps> you can plant smoke leaf now! We're gonna be fine! Um, how long do we have? Oh, we only have six more days of the growing season? Hmm. <laughs> it's quite warm out, though. I don't know. I don't know if... I don't want... <laughs> He's got food poisoning again. <laughs> oh, I should have even made the meals. I should have just left him eating rice forever. We were sad about the raw rice. I caved in. I don't think we plant anything else. I think we delete the growing zone. We could plant the drugs for him, but I don't know if they'll grow in time. And we'll just get some berries. Maybe, maybe you'll be able to grow some drugs. That'd really cheer him up. Also, not being food poisoned would be pretty cool. If you could have anything. Ship to the Stars if it is active. I don't know where it is. Whoop. Oh, the spark is on the window. I hate looking at the world map. It annoys me, just the world map. I like my little stupid house. With my stupid colonists. I don't want to see the world map. Oh, jeez, it's happening again. What can we do for you? Hoss. That's good. It's going to be winter soon. What did this used to be? Another hoss. Oh, it's going to take so long to eat this rice. He could hold back so much extra rice. Is he eating one grain at a time? What are you doing, Durkus? No, they're going to eat my rice. <laughs> How long does rice last? Rice lasts forever. Yeah, it's, it'll, if you, why not do the thing I ask you to do? Can he only carry, like, ten rice at a time now? He's fine. Normally, Randy gives you a second colonist before this, and you're not just stuck looking at Durkix for this long. I had one colony where um, my initial colonist was incapable of violent, uh, violence, but they were really good at uh, building. So I built like this intricate trap hallway and then I got the, the second colonist I got was they were capable of violence but they had uh, that one a colonist it were he couldn't do nothing I, I probably shouldn't have let him go Randy normally drops like 10 guys out of the sky every day did he just get food poisoning again no I'm looking at his health tab he just got sad that he ate rice that was not cooked. The second colonist I got had like every trait that makes them die faster in combat. They, they were a wimp and had a bad back or something. So like if they ever got grazed by anything, they'd immediately collapse. And then a third person just showed up and immediately joined the colony. Um, and they were also incapable of violence. So I just had three people who absolutely could not be allowed to fight ever. In one stupid hut. But at least they could do stuff, because they weren't food poisoned all the time. <laughs> and they didn't have no... No, what's it? Passions. There you go. Did I only build ten arrows? Oh, he's built his second ten arrows. I think we equipped the... Bow. Why are all my harpoons? Did I throw that many harpoons? 
How many can we carry? Three harpoons is fine. If we get in a fight, we want to use the harpoons. Uh, I didn't mean to let him do that. It's fine. We'll just turn off our refuel. We'll bring in all the rice. We're just going to sit in the stupid hut and eat rice forever. Until someone actually shows up to fight me. Ah, you don't need to haul that harpoon. We need metal. We're going to make him a bathroom. We're going to make Durkux a bathroom. I might check if Mahjong's back online yet. I, I didn't check what time it was coming back. <laughs> Maybe we should have kidnapped that one guy. Who couldn't do anything. I, I bet he had passions. I bet he could at least... Maybe he had more than two mining skill. Or more than one cooking skill. Is the Ambrosia Crown yet? Not yet. Um, the thing ain't changed. The symbol changes to harvest after it's big enough that you could actually get something out of it. Once the Ambrosia gr grows, we're giving Durkux all the drugs he can eat. He's gonna be ecstatic. Ah, uh, we should stop telling him to do all of this. Hang on. Yeah, but I don't want you to do the bit after. It's fine. He was starving to death because it was taking him so long to mine the steel. We could get the berries. We, we want to get them before it gets too cold. Oh, that might help. We can probably do that a little bit faster. Then we can mine. It's not any closer. We'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, when he wakes up, he can go do that. Just deconstruct everything and then uh, bring as much steel as he can carry back. Probably get a full stack of steel out of that. And a few components. And then we can build wind turbines. We can try and fail to build wind turbines for a whole day until we run out of materials. <laughs> I'm excited. What should we build the wall out of? I guess steel. <gasps> Slave are passing by. We love slaves. They might let us buy a second person if we can... Hang on, well, there's a silver mine up here. I don't think... Oh, five hours. Okay, yeah, that's not going to be... We're not going to get there in time. I mean, I'm not going to be streaming in five hours. Did... If you mine a chunk of silver, it gives you like 50, don't know, or something. And we'll need a lot to buy a person. I mean, to... Uh... We can get a friend for Durkux, it's fine. Let's see what the problem is. <laughs> a pack of man-hunting raccoons have entered the area, driven insane by the disease known as Scaria. They will roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh, We don't have any dynamite, but we do have humanoid flesh. We don't want him to be heading... I'm worried that they're going to come straight for him, even though there's perfectly good humanoid flesh over here. What could we do to be safe? I don't want to get killed by two raccoons. That would be a... That would be a poor way for Durkux's story to end. I think we run back. And then if it's obviously going to be problematic, we run around this way instead. That should... I don't know if I should let him just finish mining and the r raccoons will walk over here and try and eat the slavers. That would be helpful. 
I mean, the friends we were going to purchase. Oh, we can just see who they're thinking of biting. They're, they're good, going after someone called Rabagu. This guy. That's fine. They're allowed to do that. There's no law that says... That's not okay. Hopefully by the time we get back to base, that'll have all resolved itself. We're going to bring the uh, components first. Because it's worth more. So we might be able to sell it. Where are those... Oh, has it all resolved itself? I only see one dead raccoon. Where's the other raccoon? <laughs> oh, there it is. The gross raccoons, though. We need to set up a gross raccoon dumping zone. And now he's going to dump every corpse he sees in there. I didn't see this silver ore. But he's very bad at everything. So he probably won't be able to... Ah, I forgot to let him eat. Okay, that's... Something he probably... Ah, oh, they're too expensive! They're very expensive friends. And he won't buy the horse. And we can give him all the components. And that's not even... Close. Well, that's a shame. We could have had a miner called Hillary who could actually mine and it won't take them 14 hours to get enough silver to buy themselves. Look at that. Look at that pawn. Imagine having a pawn like that. Imagine having a pawn with passions and a great memory and steadfast. I mean, the cat... Tend, which is poor, but still. That's a good friend. I feel like I should try, but I know that there's no way we're gonna... Yeah, there's no way. We should probably tell him to move the raccoons. We'll, we'll mine some silver for next time. Do we have enough stuff to build these? If we remember to haul this back. We'll have, like, two stacks. And we need almost three stacks. Not quite, but we're getting there. We can build one wind turbine, and then we'll need to cut down all these trees in the middle. And we can use those for the wall. But we can't say that we want a wood wall because we don't have any wood right now. That's the thing that annoys me about the game. You can't say you want to build out of a material that you don't currently have, even if it's trees. There's, there's so many of them around. Maybe should have moved the uh, area for gross raccoons further away from the... Oh, he's doing stupid stuff. So now he's going to haul like 30 of the steel back to build the wind turbine. We're going to tell him we'll actually haul all the steel. And not waste everybody's time. Come on, Dark Cooks. You've been out here so long. You should know what you're doing by now. <gasps> There's the... Oh, no, that's a rhino. I thought we were the other muffler from the incident. With the exploding muffler. Good times. Look how long they've stuck around. Maybe we could have got some silver. It's fine. We're never going to do it. Yeah, not even close. Tragic. One day Dirkus will have a friend. Dirkux. Yeah, he's going to break a lot of things trying to build this wind turbine. That's fine. At least no one's watching. Durkux. <gasps> he, only, he only got it. Okay, we don't need that anymore. We're going to build a... 
I want to tell him not to build this until later. So I'll just get rid of it for now. The next thing on the list is we need an electric stove. No, wait, we probably don't. We probably need a bathroom more than that since we can't cook. So we'll cut down a tree so I can save to build things out of wood. That's the next thing we'll do. And then we'll uh, think about walls. And think about where the bathroom's going to be. We're going to have to haul so many blocks. But that's fine. We can't use this way. This way is... Uh... Got problems. Then we'll have to wall in this massive area, but that's fine too. Can I tell him in advance to not build a roof there? Make him build out of the stone, but he's so bad at construction that it's just going to take forever. Oh. Um. Not right now. Forgot about that. We'll just cut down some trees. Let's we'll keep doing this until he starts. It's until he starts to starve. And then we'll make sure it's not getting so cold that all the plants are gonna die. How's his drugs going? I'm not sure he's gonna get there, you know. And he might be like a whole year sober. Imagine that. <laughs> what a horrible fate. The wind turbine can't do nothing because there's so many trees here. And we will need a means of keeping Durkux warm. We'll be able to build a heater. Two cats have arrived to kill Durkux. Um, we need to close the doors. Uh... Okay, now hold the wood. Um, what do we do now? Where are those cats? How? What happened over here? Everything's dead. And I've lost the cats. So I'm just going to make him close all the doors and then he's going to have a nap. No, but... Um... Let me expand area one so it covers his whole house. What can we have him do? I guess it's time to start research. Uh, I'd really like to be able to do something with the power, but I guess I can't. There's no point building the tailoring bench because I've got nothing to... It's just I'm worried about needing a heater soon. It can, it can research. It's fine. Pitoosie! We're having problems. There's a pack of man-hunting cats uh, just just yelling. Just taunting Dur poor Durkux, who has absolutely no skills at all. <laughs> He's kind of interested in, in shooting, but not really, and he doesn't care about anything else. 
I need to be destroyed. There's three cats out there. Baying for his blood. He doesn't stand a chance. Oh yeah, and Durkix needs drugs. He, he definitely... He's very sad because he can't have drugs. And he's only just got the ability to grow drugs and it's going to be winter soon. And I don't think the drugs are going to grow in time. <laughs> so currently we're just hiding in a house being yelled at by cats. They'll calm down. I think they calm down if they come in as a manhunter pack. Yeah, they do. They're, well, we did one earlier. I think we had a, a manhunting boom rat when he, as soon as he dropped. What do you think we could do to make the cats fight this? We'd, we'd, we'd take the cats on, but we are out of dynamite. So, you know. It's just not a good time for us. <laughs> the dynamite didn't do nothing. It was rubbish dynamite. No, no, they're not calmed down. I think we have a quick run around and pick up some berries and stuff. He actually, um, if you eat berries raw, they don't get sad. Let's, instead of that... Try and shoot a bow and arrow at a cat. Back in, Dukas. Okay, this is fine. You can take one at a time. No, the doors hold open for some reason. I think we might be about to be eaten by cats. Possibly. <laughs> Maybe I underestimated him. This cat is headbutting this door. This stone door. Uh, I never had a rest of the colony. It's just Durkix. <laughs> it's just been Durkix the whole time. I'm sorry for killing a cat, by the way. If there were any way to avoid it. But, um... They're very mad. Chingy could fight three cats without dying if he... I think we could do, if we can get them so they'd come one at a time. The door takes ages to close because it's sandstone. Ah, not quite. I'm hoping he'd just get in. Come on. Yeah. Missed. <laughs> Terrible. Down to one cat. I, I hoped he'd be able to hit. He's got bruised by cat teeth. You can get bruised by cat teeth and still be still be well enough to fight another cat. This will be the most uh, dangerous situation Durkix has been in. The most difficult trial he's had to face since he landed on RimWorld. <laughs> he's been food poisoned a bunch. He's had some... Ah, uh... oh, shit, he threw his last half home. I could run back and get the knife, but the door opens too slowly. He's not going to get there in time. Durkix, please kick this cat to death. Again, I'm sorry for killing a cat in a video game. <laughs> He's been food poisoned a lot. There were a pack of manhunting badgers, which he didn't deal with, but he was around while they were there. There was a, a, a boom rat got mad at him, and that were a whole day of just listening to it wander around outside. Hang on. Is he being weird because I've told him to go into an area that he's not currently able to access? Uh, Durkux, do you want to heal yourself from the cat injuries? The cat nipped Durkux in the right leg, leaving a horrific wound. He's fine. Unless he dies of an infection from being attacked by cats. 
I'm just reading the, the chat. Oh, I don't have a noob. Dirkux could be noob. It's less difficult to say. And he is very bad. But noob was always... Uh... Noob was always an aspirational character in William's series. No one wants to be Dirkux. Who would want to be Dirkux? I can't play uh, Mahjong today, by the way. Uh, P2. It's down. I wanted to. Oh, we can uh, turn one of the cats into food for Dirkux. Excellent. Among the uh, things Dirkux is bad at, he can't cook, like, at all. He's just going to immediately get food poisoning anytime he tries. We want this door held open most of the time, so I'll have to quickly time to do that. This is the trap hallway. We don't. We want them to try and walk down here if there's human raiders. It's just if there's three of them. We don't want to. And they're all cats. We don't want to waste the traps. He's his only good skill is shooting, and he's not that good at shooting. He's like, he's heard of shooting. Let's go get some berries. Don't want them to die from the cold, and it is going to be cold soon. And also, at some point, going to have to remove the marble chunks from the house. <laughs> Repair the headbutt damage the cats did to the door as well, that's very important. I don't really want him chopping down trees right now. We've got enough wood to be in on with. What we need to do, the next big task, is we need... A big wall. Because uh, we're going to build two wind turbines and have them enclosed so people can't run over and kick them down. He's doing okay. To say he's got no skills, no reasonable way of uh, surviving on a <laughs> on a hostile world. He's giving it his best, except for that, he, he, there were like two days, two or three days, where you're just wandering around, sadly. That was when I realised how big a problem the not being able to get drugs was going to be. He's really sad about not being able to get drugs. And these drugs is just not growing fast enough. Maybe we should make... Maybe. Maybe we should research hydroponics. It takes too much power though, doesn't it? Hydroponics takes way too much power. But it'd be a way for him to get drugs wherever he wanted. <laughs> he'd be able to grow drugs in the winter. Imagine that. Poor guy. There's no point building a drug lab because I don't know how to grow drugs. Um... I need to research that as well, but I don't. I only know how to grow smoke leaf, and you can make uh, you can make smoke leaf joints at crafting stations. But with hydroponics, we could grow the drugs during the winter. If we had all of the power in the world, and we don't even have batteries, solar panels first. We'll aim for that. That'll be the the goal. Alright, okay, just ignore this. It's nothing. Ooh, another thing we need. We need guest beds. We need to be thinking about guests. Some some point we're going to want to have guests. It's a good way to get extra... Let's just move this cat corpse out of the room before we start playing horseshoes. Uh, did that just freeze? Oh, it's getting cold. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. It's three degrees. It's gone down from 20 to three degrees in like three days. I'm worried Dirkux might not survive winter. He's doing a great job, but you know. We're going to need to keep that one on. We're going to build the power. Maybe even get some heal root. Imagine that. We could do that before he dies of the cold. We're not going to get drugs in time. It's going to be way too cold to grow drugs. What about that ambrosia? Did that grow? He 
He's gonna be so happy. Durkix is gonna be so happy. I think this is the priority. I don't know if he's so bad at plank cutting that he's gonna like fail all these, but hopefully not. Don't get you a lot. We do it's quick at least. We can probably do all of them. We didn't wait for any of them to grow all the way. But he needs drugs now. He doesn't need drugs once they've grown all the way. Why can't I haul? Uh, did I cover all the spots? Do you need a special spot to... Nah, it's just being weird. Yeah. He's going to have so much drugs. He's going to be so happy. Can I eat your drugs? <gasps> it's a little bit of drugs. Is that just... Does it just make him happy? He's happy because he's eating drugs. <laughs> what a day. Thank goodness. He's gonna be okay, folks. He managed to find some drugs just in the nick of time. This needs going to. We're gonna build a wall. We're gonna be able to have two wind generators. We've got a horse. His name is Stallion One. We're doing really well. I'm gonna leave him to sleep while I go get a drink. <laughs> Be right back. If you hear water pouring sounds when I get up to, to go get a drink, that's because I'm drinking uh, black currant juice concentrate, like an actual bit. I have to pour a little bit before I can go fill the glass with water. Should we have the stockpile just go all the way through into the next room? We could. It's fine. Oh, we got a red. And I've accidentally got rid of the red message. Oh, he's got a gun. It's Isis Swanson. He's like... He's got a bad heart. And he's bad at shooting. Hmm. I think we lure him down the trap corridor and hope for the best. Which means Durkix needs to wake up and immediately lock all the other doors. Oh, if he goes and knocks over my wind turbine, though, after all that. Did it say we're preparing, or coming straight at me? Preparing. Do we have time to build the wall? I think we do. We can't have this open, though. We need him to finish the walls. And he can't stop and play horseshoes. That's not acceptable. And it'd really help if he didn't fail the construction a hundred times. That'd, that'd help me out. Um, now he needs to go close the doors. And this, the, this situation should resolve itself. I don't know what you're, what you're asking, P2. <laughs> We're in a spot of bother now, right? We got um, a man with a gun has showed up.
just going to tell him he's allowed to come in here if he wants. And then I'm going to tell him not to go outside. When I'm saying, like, everything's a bit more complicated than it needs to be, like, you do remember how to do all the stuff. But, like, why is being able to set an area for things to be allowed in and then telling them that that is the area they are allowed in? Why are those in completely different submenus in completely different parts of the UI? Why do I have to go to the zones tab? And then the one furthest to the side after all the ones that make sense to that, that just visually, oh, I understand what that button will do. And then I have to go to this different, completely different area of the UI. He's going to get cold. He's, hang on. He's naked and cold and grimy. He's also grimy. I'm worried about the cold. We do need a heater stuff, I think. Do we have the technology we do? Can that reach? Hang on. Let's see if that could reach. I think that reaches, which is excellent, but we don't have enough steel, which is not excellent. Here comes Isis with his uh, break action revolver. He's gonna he's gonna set the drugs on fire. Is he gonna kick over the toilet now? Look at this. Come on. Now he's gonna walk into the trap hallway and immediately die. Who would do this? Hmm. <laughs> Terrible. Are you still... We need to bury that... Uh, we need to bury them and also take their gun. And also take the claws. Oh, and also put out the fire. <laughs> Whoops. That should probably be a priority. Maybe we should do that now. Only one drug's died. we still got... We still got um, six drugs. This is six, by the way. Six and then two is six. That, oh, you be that guy kicked the toilet over. Can we haul the body out of the way before we? Uh... Also. We're gonna wear the bad claws. Um, the mod I've got on means it's not that bad to be wearing tainted claws. I think they make more of a fuss about it um, by default, but I've got a mod that means they're kind of uh, a bit more sensible about mood things. I, I can't... The default, like... Uh, I don't know, the, the default mood things just... I need a mod in that stops everyone going crazy because they keep being rebuffed before I can even think about playing now. <laughs> Once you've played a mod, that means everyone doesn't immediately go crazy from being rebuffed a hundred times a day. You just can't go back. So hopefully you won't get too sad because he's wearing a bad hat. I think it, I the, the dude who made this game, like I've this game's sick, but the guy who made it is kind of weird. He's got some unresolved issues there. For example, I think having um upon having the wife killed is like a minus fifty moodlet for a really long time, and it sucks. They're, they're miserable forever. If a pawn is cheated on by his wife, it's like minus eighty. It's worse than if they died. He's just got... <laughs> he's got problems. What, are we okay with the temperature now? I think we're good. We're good on temperature. He's not naked. We can even wear a toque. He's got tainted pants. 
So that's sad. You hate to hear about that. I think this mod means if they get rebuffed, it's like minus one. And if they get rebuffed a second time, it's still minus one. And it just stares at minus one. It's wild. I love it. Why is he not eating all the drugs? I need to specifically tell him to eat the drugs. Um... The drugs have died because of cold. Where's Ambrosia? Where's the one that I've got? I can't fi- I'm- <laughs> Okay. Uh, how do I say once per day? Okay, every day. Every day eat one drugs. Smiley face. Yeah, just- just eat a drug. It's fine. You like drugs? <laughs> I, did, I kind of put it on hard mode, just- I, put, I, I play with one person. The start with no items. Um, and then I think we should have the gun rather than the bow and arrow. The bow is better for hunting. We, we'll haul this for now. If we need to fight someone, we'll get the gun out. And then I, I, I put the spawn area random as well. I like to be surprised. I like to be in weird new situations. Where are we going? What did he just get? There was a single harpoon. I thought it would pass. I wanted to bring the metal back. Never mind. Let's go get more steel instead of hauling that steel. He's very bad at mining, so this is going to take forever. But he does need to be able to build a heat. Actually, we don't need the heater as much now. I think I can work on his toilet. I wanted uh, like <laughs> main thing we've been aiming for is uh, he needs a toilet. This is a mod, by the way. Um, I don't know why someone made this mod, but it does mean that they uh, don't get ill as often unless they're real gross. We want it somewhere where it won't get kicked over easily. I think put it right next to the existing well and we'll build out. And then we're going to need a water pump and then we're going to need a water tower. And then we just need to have pipes to go to the toilet. And then he's going to have a beautiful bathroom. We should probably put it down here. <laughs> if he's, I've never had him start naked on an ice sheet. I'm sure that would not last long. But I'm always up for him starting naked on an ice sheet. I want to see it once. If you could find... So if you can find... um, What's it? This is stupid. Why am I building this? This is horrible. I do need this. This is, needs to happen. Unless somewhere else is better. If you can find a, a steam geyser, you can keep them alive. But then, like, what do they eat? And how do they build a house? Difficult. Um, I've seen people survive with one colonist on an ice sheet, but they need like specifically need the the colonist to be a cannibal, because <laughs> otherwise, where do they get food? Yeah, okay, I, I can't. It's gonna have to go. Yeah, I just don't want the enemies to come in and decide that the cat get through, so they'll just barrel through the wall instead of walking around. We'll try not to make it too inconvenient for them. We're going to have to mine this as well because it's components. This is the pointless water tower room where we don't really need a room. But we do have one. Um, this is where all the gubbins go. And then we need pipes. This takes some setting up. 
Which kind of shows how annoyed I am by the... Uh... I can't remember which one of these things needs pipes, so we'll just build it to both. You can build the pipes out of wood, so it's not a big problem. And then we need sewage outlet. Which can just... <laughs> we'll just fire it off in this direction. Just generally. Um, unless we want, like, a gunk room. This could be the gunk room. Where all the horrible things go. Don't go in here. I've never had a gunk room before. Let's do it. It's horrible here. And then, um... I wanted to make this fancy, but I don't know if we've got enough things or enough enough skill to do it. I wanted to go full sims on the on his nice bathroom. If this man dies, nothing happens. He, the game... I mean, you can keep playing with no colonists and just watch nothing happen. It would be a shame if he died. I'd be sad. What if we make the floor out? We'll make him a marble toilet. It's gonna be beautiful. I don't know if I should make him a little stall, but there's not really a point right now, is there? Because he's the only... Oh, he needs a bath. He's gonna have a marble bathtub. I don't want to just dump everything down, but it makes the most sense. Because... I'm not... Hang on. One of these is a basin. Needs that. And then we'll need to haul all of the rocks out. And cut down all of the trees that are in the bathroom. <laughs> we'll just have to do it. Yeah, that's going to be beautiful. Um, And then we need... We can't have flooring yet because I don't want to use the marble. So we'll have to build a stone cutter's table, I think. And then we'll be able to... Why can't... Why can't... Okay, found it. And this is going to all take several wood. More than, more than five wood. How much food have we got? He's got a bit of rice, but I'm not sure how, much, how long it'll last. And it's... We need to cut down trees, but I think we might have to make, like, a final berry run at some point. Are the berries over here? I think there were berries over here. And apples. We got apples. I don't know what... Exactly. I think the plants start losing health when it gets too cold. And you can see that, like, they've taken damage. Let's do this straight away. Oh, I didn't see that. Someone wants to give us a Glock. But it's too star difficult, eh? So, the thing about these quests is they often want you to fight people or things... Or a gigantic ox-like creature of unknown origin. I don't think I've had this one. Yeah, it wants me to hunt um, some horrible creature with no dynamite. Maybe we'll... I mean, we do have gun. But... It means I'll have to travel on the world map, which I just hate. Generally. This is going to take forever to build. Should I just start letting him build all this stuff? I do have a gun, but it's not a good gun. It's a poor gun. It's on combat extended. I, I think a 44 Magnum would probably be enough to kill like a bear. Because combat extended, everything does a lot of damage. I do worry. And he's very bad. We gotta remember. Even though he's pa his only passion is shooting. He's not that interested in shooting. And he's not very good at it. Why did I make this the bathroom? 
Because then I won't have to build pipes through the whole house. Sorry, I'm just going to redo this. <laughs> I've remembered I'm dumb. Let me just fix this. Dead quick. It's even got some flooring. I just don't know what. It's limestone and slate. I don't know how you build that. Okay. This is definitely where the toilet should be. Yeah, beautiful. I think we can start the pipes up again on the other side of the water tower. Hey, I'm not sure though, so let's just... Stupid bed's in the wrong spot. Can we... Can we this? No, not that. This. Get rid of that one. This should work. Probably. If it don't work, we'll fix it. I know that, um... I don't want pipes everywhere. I want to try and put them in walls if I can. Except for this one in the gunk room, which is going to be horrible. I don't want to think about the gunk room. I don't want, I just want to try and make this with as little uh, pipe nonsense as possible. Are we out of wood? We have no wood. What is he doing? He's hauling steel from all the way down here. I'm going to let him do it just so it's out of the way. I could have forbid it, but I, I didn't ever remember. Did he actually haul like two steel? Hmm. At least he can build his marble bath. As long as he doesn't break it, which he is going to do because he's bad at building. Might have told him to do too many things here. We have no way of preparing proper meals. That's fine. If he prepares proper meals, he'll just give himself food poisoning. Hmm. <laughs> At least we've made a marble sink. We're doing a good job. He's gotten a lot better. He used to have, I think, one or two construction. No, he started with zero construction, didn't he? But he went up to one on the first day. He used to only have two plants. Now he's got four plants. I think I, everything else he's stayed terrible at with very little progress. Should at least pick up the gun. That way if he gets jumped and I forget that it's there, it's in his pocket rather than in the house. I think also I've got a mod that means everything you build needs regular maintenance. Um, but doesn't use up a constant stream of components. Which is just a quality of life thing. It makes the game easier, but it's... it's... I hate... You go through a lot of... Components, it's just unnecessary. Oh, the horse is sick. Stallion one is ill. <laughs> we might lose Stallion one, Fox. Where can Stallion one sleep? Can we tend Stallion one? Or does Stallion one have to go to bed on its own before anyone can do anything for it? What a shame. I hope he goes to bed soon. It's going to take him so long to get to level 6 construction. He's built so many things. He built like the whole outer wall. Marble toilet! <laughs> I love Dirk X. He's, he's a real everyman hero. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do if I was dumped into a... A strange alien planet. I wouldn't be able to... Do you think I'd be able to build houses and cut down trees? I wouldn't be able to do that. I can't build a wind turbine. I don't even have a passion for shooting guns. What would I do? 
I'd get eaten by the first badger that came along. The first angry cat would destroy me. I wouldn't stand a chance. I'm so annoyed that I just did one and then didn't even haul it back and then he's going to bed. I'd, I, I'd get that right. If I mined a wall down, I'd, I'd remember to bring the stones back to the house. Why has he got a major break risk? Is he not eating the drugs? There's a mad muffler. Okay, I need everyone's opinion on this. This is an important Durkux decision. This muffalo is coming to destroy Durkux. Durkux has a gun. He has a minor passion for shooting. <laughs> what would Durkux do? We could lock the doors and hope he walks down the trap corridor. This would be the easy way for Durkix to defend himself. But Durkix has never taken the easy way. Actually he has. He's hidden his house and let the animals calm down most of the time. This is going to be the real test to see how much Durkix has learned. <laughs> has he learned to defeat nature? Truly, with a gun. Is this the angry one? Yes. Let's slow that down. <gasps> he really got it. That was a really good shot. Um, run back. And you were worried. I won't ever worry. He's shot in the lung. It's nothing. He's just going to keep running back. You can't catch me. Durkix has reached level 6 in shooting. Now we can but butcher the muffler. What are we doing with this meat, by the way? Oh, it's frozen. It... it Inside the house is actually freezing. The whole house is a fridge. That's good. It's serving as electricity. Which we're not using at all. Why did I build the electricity to do the... Oh, cause... I do need... I do need it. Um... Hang on. Okay, we need power conduits. I can't remember which thing needs them. And I don't think we can build... We can build power conduits over over pipes. I think there were a bug that meant you couldn't do that before. This should work. I want to build more stuff that needs power. We don't need... He didn't need that many bullets. It's fine. He had loads of bullets. He has 18 left. And he was fighting an entire buffalo. You always got a nitpick, Legius. <laughs> he's doing a really good job. Um, he's standing still and not doing anything. I don't know if I might leave Durkix for now. <laughs> he's had a he's had a tough day. We might leave him. Although, he does need to cut the muffle off. How long is he going to live with this much food? A powerful question. He's going to need to learn to cook, but he's going to be food poisoned so often while he's learning to cook. I think I had him cook like seven meals or something, and he got food poisoned twice. It says only 4%. I don't believe it. Next time, we'll wonder about what Durkix will do. Will he ever eat his drugs? Even though I've asked him to. I think I should have put 
I, th I think that's why I want eating these drugs. He needs drugs. Why is he letting you get this bad? Definitely gonna need. How far? We are almost into winter. And they'll need to live 15 days. To get back to spring. I don't think this is enough rice. The plants have not started taking damage yet though. I'll remember next time. We need to get berries for Durkux. He's going to have loads of meat from the muffalo that he's going to be able to really easily poison himself on. Yeah, it's weird as well. If you like have strawberries or something that are basically safe to eat and the colonists love eating. Um, and then you try and cook it, it gets like exponentially more likely to give them food poisoning. They, they, can, food, they can give themselves food poisoning off anything. I didn't even got to name the settlement because you need a second colonist for that. Yeah, let's call it for Durkix for now. I think that might be the end of the stream. Unless anyone wants to play chess with me <laughs> or watch me do boring chess puzzles, which I was doing for like an hour before I started the stream. <laughs> uh, I've got Shogi up as well if you want to play. <laughs> I remember to bring up the website this time. We should be entering, uh... Hang on. We should be entering my, uh... Browser soon. Yeah, no, we're streaming my stream settings. Excellent, this is what we like. We have potential for Shogi. We also have two different chests. Lee Chess seems better. I like Lee Chess. Because um, he doesn't ask for me for money all the time. I think I'm going to call it for now, though. Thank you for being here if you are here. I did not realise that was three hours. This game is a nefarious time sink. It's horrible. It will uh, steal hours and minutes from you. You didn't know were there. <laughs> And that's going to be all for me today. Hopefully next time it won't be maintenance and I'll be able to play bloody Mahjong. I'll be able to get to that silver room. I'm going to do it. No, the Mahjong people are trying to stop me getting to silver room. See you, Legius. They're trying to stop me. It's a conspiracy to stop me specifically from getting to silver room. And I'm not going to stand for it. And I am going to get there. And then we're going to show them. But until then. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Oh, should I read someone? Who should I read? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm scared that all these people will laugh at me if I read them. I could read Beagle. Do you want another Australian? He'll probably be streaming for a while. How much do you guys like uh, XCOM? I assume he's playing Long War. Let's rein in a beagle, why not? I like beagle. Um, he's sometimes quite sad. Which is a shame, but he's a, he's a cool dude. Uh, I'm also not going to be able to... Okay, yeah, goodbye everyone. We're raiding beagle if you, if you want to stick around. He's a cool dude. I'm going to end the stream.